2000, the speaker said, it is incumbent upon all of us in the public and private sectors to work for free and open trade with China. That is real. The U.S.-China bilateral WTO agreement, however, is seriously deficient in substance, implementation, and enforcement. This issue is too important for our economy to be based on a pattern of broken promises, not proven performance. China can become a member of the WTO with, without Congress having to surrender its right to U.S.-China trade review annually. There is no reason why we should permanently surrender that leverage at this time. I ask, if her position had prevailed, how different would things be right now? There are many other examples of bipartisan leadership, including a lot of people on this committee, and I'm going to get into them and answer the questions if it's relevant. Let me close by saying um, that we have engaged in a very intense, extremely serious, and very specific negotiation with China on crucial structural issues for several months now. We are making real progress. If we can complete this effort, and again I say if, and can reach a satisfactory solution to all, to the all important outstanding issue of enforceability, as well as some other concerns, we might be able to have an agreement that helps us turn the corner in our economic relationship with China. Let me be clear, much still needs to be done, both before an agreement is, is reached and, more importantly, after it is reached, if one is reached. I want to thank all members for your bipartisan approach on this seminal effort, and I look forward to continuing our work together. I want to say that if this was not a bipartisan view, we would not be having the success that we're having.